He gave the vine dressers another chance. He gave them another opportunity, but they did the exact same thing, beating, stoning, and killing the next wave of servants. They forgot where they came from. They forgot how kindly they had been dealt with. They forgot the character of the vine, of the vineyard owner. And then Jesus says, then last of all, the vineyard owner sent his son to them, saying, they will respect my son. But when the vine dressers saw the son, they said among themselves, come, let us kill him and seize his inheritance. So they took him and cast him out of the vineyard and killed him. Let me ask this tonight. What kind of patience does it take that after the vine dressers have basically stolen what is yours, beaten and killed your servants, that you give them even more patience? That you extend even more grace? Hear what he says. They will respect my son. That means that the vine, the vine owner, the vineyard owner, believed the best about their hearts even when they'd only shown him the worst. Mm -hmm. I know it's a story. I understand it's a parable. But isn't this exactly what God did for Israel yep. over and over again? And just so that we don't make this something about finger pointing, isn't it the same thing that he's done for us? Yes. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans chapter 5 verse 10 says, while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled through the death of his son. Remember this. At all times, remember this. Jesus didn't die for the contrite. He didn't die for the sorrowful. He didn't die for the apologetic. He didn't even die for the repentant. He died for his enemies. He died for sinners. All of them. We can only repent because he died. So he didn't die because we had said we were sorry. He, we can only say we're sorry because of his death. Which means the vineyard owner sent his son for you and for me when we had already destroyed everything that he had sent the first time around. We are the vine dressers. It's who Israel was, but it's who we often continue to be. 